When you say the name Central Christian, different images come to mind. Some people see that big building off the 95 freeway in Henderson. Other people see a high school campus, a community center, or the small church down the street. Some people see a room at their correctional facility or military base, and others see a screen on their computer or phone. Central shows up in a lot of different places for a lot of different people. But this is where it all began. Odd Fellows Hall, a little building on 9th Street in downtown Las Vegas. Back in 1962, it's where 26 people gathered for the very first time and Central Christian Church was born. And this is the space. I mean, just walking in here and thinking about that first group of people and their uh, hearts and just the passion that they had for God, I mean, it totally moves me. You think about it, here they would come together and after parties that had happened on Saturday night, they would clean up beer bottles and trash and all that stuff and they would set up chairs and they would hold church. We just like Central to meet in a place where they'd had a party on Saturday night before. They were thankful for the room, but eventually the church outgrew Odd Fellows Hall and it came to a decision that's defined Central ever since. Do we stay or do we grow? Thankfully for you and I, those 26 people decided to step out in faith and go where God was leading them. First, they took over the little church building a few blocks over on 11th Street. Then they built their own space, a single building at the corner of Mojave and Pecos. That one building became two and then two became three. And as Central moved forward in faith, God brought more and more people until one day they found themselves facing that same question again. Do we stay or do we grow? That's when a few thousand people raised millions of dollars and took the biggest step of faith yet, moving to a brand new building in Henderson. Over the next decade, Central grew to a church of 10,000, going from three services to four to five until eventually we realized that Central couldn't reach everyone God wanted us to reach at one church in one location. And we had to face the question again, do we stay or do we grow? We launched regional campuses and we started a Spanish-speaking campus. We had a chance to do church in prisons and we, we took it. I mean, we started an online campus that has participants from every state and around the world. And today, we're overwhelmed by requests from people in other places asking us to, to bring what God has done here to their town and to their prison and to their home. And in our heart of hearts, we wanna say yes because the spirit God has given our church is the same spirit that was birthed right here in this very room five decades ago. That when God asks, do we stay or do we grow? We grow. And it's not because we wanna get big. It's not to increase power or influence. The reason we grow is simple. We can't keep the message of God's radical grace to ourselves. I mean, it would have been easier, a lot easier, for these 26 people to just keep sweeping up the bottles and, and just stay, but they didn't. They went from a place of comfort to a place of challenge because they understood that if they didn't move, God would not move through them. And that's what drives Central to this day. That's why we never settle. That's why we step out of our comfort zone and we launch campuses in faraway places. It's why we go into prisons and schools and coffee shops, even though it can be messy. It's why we have a dream to plant hundreds of churches reaching thousands of people anywhere the message of radical grace is needed. We're committed to be the rescue for people who need hope and healing. Because sometime, somewhere, a person we never met stepped out in faith to be the rescue for us. 50 years ago, people made a choice to follow where God leads. And the result has been way more than they ever hoped or dreamed. And the same is true for us. The things that God will do, the people that he will rescue over the next 50 years is way more than you or I can ever hope or dream. It's a story that I'm so excited and thankful to be a part of, and I'm glad it's a part of your story too.